I had lost a lot of weight after menopause, but my belly didn't go down. I was scheduled for a hysterectomy. They thought that's what was appropriate. They thought they were fibroid tumors that have been there forever. So they opened me up and closed me right away because they didn't have a cancer center. She was referred to Loyola. She had advanced cancer where all of the surface of her intestines, her liver, her pelvic organs, um, was coated in this thick gelatinous material um, that was a consequence of a ruptured appendix cancer. After the pathology report showed that it was appendix cancer, everything I did from that point on was preparing me for the HIPEC surgery. She was offered heated intraperitoneal chemotherapy, also referred to as HIPEC, in select stage four malignancies like appendiceal cancer and some colorectal cancers. The addition of HIPEC will offer quality and quantity of life. In some situations, it could even potentially be curative. My kids were 18 and 20. I wanted to see them graduate college and get married and have children. Uh, your kids are your superpower. After the abdomen is completely explored and all the tumors are removed, tubing is then placed into Karen's abdomen and her abdomen is actually closed at that point and the high dose heated chemotherapy will then be circulated for 90 minutes. Earning her trust to say that I'm going to put you through a 14-15 hour operation where you'll be in the hospital for two weeks can be daunting to even the strongest of spirits. I knew in my bones, I can't explain it any other way, I knew I was going to be okay. And anybody that didn't hold that view, they weren't allowed around me. My sister was a gatekeeper. She was my caregiver. She took care of me for a year and a half. We told her very clearly at the beginning, I promise to do my part as the surgeon, but you have to do your part as the patient. And truly, Karen took that as her task. Everything we told Karen to do after the operation, she did. And I think as a consequence of that, this is why she's had such a great outcome. I think I'm five and a half years out from HIPEC right now. I could be Dr. Abood's poster child. I think he is one of the greatest men I've ever met. He kept a promise to me when some other doctor might have closed me and prepared me to die, but he went, he went the distance. I think Karen's a great story because you know, dealing with some of the most complex malignancies here at Loyola, we judge our outcomes in, in sometimes months uh, with how complex these cancers are and to see Karen have such an amazing outcome where we're measuring it in years and possibly even decades um, is so gratifying.